it's a bit of a combination of my influences. So it's a bit of world music uh, influences mixed with, you know, like progressive rock. I grew up in the 70s listening to rock radio. So I was really exposed to whatever was popular and on the on the radio was what I heard a lot of the time. But my style, um, I like to think of it like a mix of rhythms with a groove, because to me, you know, it's got to feel nice. And, but I don't like just thinking of drums as just playing a beat with the bass drum, snare, and hi-hat. I, you know, I know a lot of the times that has to be there. It's, you know, with, like I said, some of those other aspects. But fortunately in Primus, sometimes we can get away from the what's expected. And, and I can do all kinds of rhythmic things um, that can still convey what it is I'm trying to say or or the feeling I want to create in the music. You know, it can still happen and a lot of times even better if I get to do a bunch of rhythmic stuff and get away from just keeping a groove, you know, and that's where, that's where some of my influences come in. You know, I might, I might feel like I'm grabbing from a world beat kind of thing or, or over here, maybe this is a John Bonham groove or, you know, or a Stuart Copeland hi-hat thing. And then all these things kind of come together and, um and of course you know i've i've kind of incorporate the double bass you know uh as tastefully as i can i don't like to just hammer out steady stuff um unless it absolutely is is fits well you know but other li- otherwise i like to use the double bass tastefully kind of like neil peart with the uh you know he didn't do too much of the steady 16th note patterns you know it was it was very tasteful. And that's the one thing I really loved about his playing, um, composing his parts. You know, he he took time to compose his parts for songs. They didn't, they kind of knew what they were going to do in the, before they go into the studio. And um, I liked that about his playing, you know, and every song was, was unique drum-wise. So I, I strive for that when I'm playing. I like it. I don't like to repeat what I've done, but sometimes I don't have the time I'm uh, to create to work on a pattern. You know, it's like I have to kind of be ready when we get together, and hopefully, I come up with interesting stuff. You know, and my technique also is about simple rudiments. Um, there's not really complex rudiments happening, but what it is is using dynamics and combining those four or five basic rudiments and mixing them together constantly i'm always i'm always messing with the dynamic range and uh having volumes change you know one hand louder or the other hand and using that rather than some kind of fancy thing you know i i am as I get older, I definitely feel I'm not as fast. Um, and so it's about being tasteful. But I've always I've always gone for that anyways when I was younger, is more tasteful approach. But um yeah, style-wise, I think it's it's that of just making it feel really good, doing something that's interesting for me, and using you know, real basic concepts and just maximizing them. Thank you. 